yeah, it, it felt great. Um, you know, this game will humble you, and I was humbled the first uh, few weeks of the season. But uh, you know, I just kept you know working hard, and uh, I think the last couple, you know, last week or two, it's been feeling better. You say you don't like to do a whole lot different, but what what is different? Um, I think I was out in front of a lot of pitches early, you know, pulling too many balls, um, you know, just, I just kind of let the ball get a little deeper today. And uh, because of that, you can explode a little more and, um, you know, recognize pitches as well, recognize strikes. Why uh, do you have a tendency in your career to start off so slow? If I knew we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> but you have to have some sort of theory on it, don't you? Oh, there's hundreds of theories, but um, the fact is that um, it's just the way it's been, and um, you know I don't like it. But at the same time, uh, I seem to, you know, be able to turn it on, and and you know whatever causes me to have slow starts always, always turns around and end up having good seasons. Well, your team's been doing well regardless, but I mean, it's just kind of a relief to get going. Um, it's all about wins. It really is. Um, you know, if we were in last place and I was, uh, you know, leading the league and hitting and home runs, I wouldn't be happy. So it's all about wins and losses for us, and we're playing great baseball. When when one guy doesn't do do the job, the next guy comes up and and picks him up, and we've been doing that all season. How about uh, hitting three home runs? You've done it before, but they were just telling us that you're the only Yankee to do this at Fenway Park, beside for Luke Gehrig, who did it in 1927. Yeah, that's uh, man, that's that's humbling right there. Uh, anytime I've always told these guys, anytime you talk about the Yankees and. You know, Garrick DiMaggio, you know, the list goes on and on. Um, it makes you realize you got a long way to go to be in their, in their category. So um, there's a lot of work for me left to do. How about getting in that last at bat against, you're up against a position player there. What do you think? You know, I, I actually, I, I really bared down that at bat, and I just told myself that this isn't a position player. This is a pitcher trying to get me out. Uh, swing at a strike, you know, wait back, try to get a good pitch, and that's what happened. What did it give you? Fastball down the middle. <laughs> well, the importance of I wish it was that easy. Uh, the importance of taking a series against a team that is trying to chase you down and putting some distance between you and them. Yeah, our motto all season is win every series. That's just um, that's a very simple motto, and we go into every series trying to to win uh, every game one at a time. And uh, you know, we won the first two, but it doesn't mean we're going to uh, let up for tomorrow. Tomorrow would be a, a big win for us and get us going on this road trip the, the right way. The other thing is that you guys have some injuries right now. And you and A-Rod today, you're on base nine out of 11 times in the game. You you know, you half the runs are are generated by you guys. Yeah, and that's why, you know, like I said earlier, when, um, you know, Alex and I haven't been doing um, our normal, uh, haven't ha been having our normal production, and guys have been stepping up. Robbie's stepping up, Mick Swisher's stepping up. A lot of different guys are. So uh, because of that, if we have a few guys that might be a little dinged up, you know, it's time for Alex and I to start picking it up. and. Uh, I, th I think this entire season is going to be all about just uh, just team baseball.